All right, for the objectives for today, you are going to be creating multiple step abstractions. All right, you already know how to create an abstraction, meaning you already know how to create what? Abstraction. But what is an abstraction in Snap? Block. A block. Good. Your own block, right? And you're going to create a brick wall for later use in a scene. All right, so how are we going to create this brick wall? It's going to end up looking something like this, where you have several different blocks. But at the end of the day, you are going to end up drawing a brick wall. All right? Now, uh, the brick wall is made up of different features, which I'll go over right now. Also, I want to point out, do not worry, do not worry about the parameters here, okay? I don't need you to be able to edit the parameters on the block itself. Everybody got that? So I will not be taking the parameters into consideration. But let's go ahead and look at what I will be taking into consideration. First off, I have a clear go-to negative 100, 100, right? That is just so that it goes to a certain area in the, on the stage. Then you are going to create an abstraction slash slash procedure slash your own block, right? Because all three things are the same thing. Um, that does what? Draws a brick. Okay. Now, I'm going to move this real fast just so you can see the actual brick and what it looks like. Notice that it's really just a line that it's drawing of a certain thickness and of a certain color. <laughs> all right. Very important that you do this. You go into settings. And you click on flat line ends. If you do not click on flat line ends, you will get a rounded line, which will not look like a brick. Okay. Again, you must have flat line ends clicked off. Settings. All right. So the first block was to draw a brick. I'm going to let you guys figure that one out. Again, it is just a line that you're drawing of a certain thickness. The second block is to draw the motor. What's a motor? That is a little cement. Yes, a little cement that is in between the two bricks. So guess what you're doing on this one? You're just moving a couple of pixels over. Correct? And then you can draw the brick again. So on, so forth. Notice it is going into some type of repetition. Right? How many times you want to repeat it, that's up to you. I don't care how big your wall is. As long as it is, as long as it is aligned. All right? What does that mean? That this is probably going to be the trickier part. Because after you draw the bricks, you're going to have to use change X by and change Y by. Because you want to go ahead and start your sprite over here where it's aligned all right if you want to do it just by kind of like um like gauging it with your eyes that's fine or if you want to actually see what numbers you're changing it into then always go ahead and click off x position and y position so that, that way you see where you're starting at all time or where you're ending okay the second line is going to be different the second line is going to start with the half brick, like that. Then again, the motor, full brick, motor, half brick. Motor, full brick, motor. Uh, and actually, you know what? That's not right. Sorry, row B doesn't, it doesn't go into, the half brick is only at the two ends. So it's, Half brick, motor, full brick, motor, full brick, motor, full brick, motor, full brick, half brick, sorry, motor, half brick, and then you can go ahead and start all over again from the bottom, all right? I'm going to kind of let you figure that one out. Guys, at the end of the day, you're going to put that all in one brick where you will get something that looks like this. Everybody got that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, at the end, just answer the question that I give you on forms. Actually, just turn it into forms. I don't think you're going to have a question for this one. Um, just turn it into forms, and then we will end the <laughs> lesson there. Questions? No? All right. Again, do not worry about these parameters. I'm not going to grade those. I don't need them. 
right? I just need one command that gives you an entire wall. 